Hey guys, a little later on in the night. I'm just doing a little update. This is uh, the setup I made for the um, Chinese praying mantis uh, Uthikas, uh, the Uths. There they are there. All I did was uh, use a little, what do you call it, a glue gun. <laughs> My brain is not working right now. And I glued the sticks all together like that. And then I put a couple of chopsticks through the holes that the Uthka had in them. And they fit just perfectly. And then I glued those to the back end. I don't know if you can see that. Glued one in the corner there and one there. And then crisscrossed them. A little stick there for a brace. And they're supported by that one stick in the middle that's crisscrossed there and hot glued to each other, each of the other two branches that go up. So yeah, it's uh, hopefully it's going to be turning out pretty good. And uh, I get lots of little baby mantids out of there. And I, I plan to let some go in my garden out the back. Hopefully the raccoons don't have uh, lunch with them. Uh, I might uh, put a little fence up there because once these get bigger they will eat them. <clears throat> they should get about five inches. So that's cool. Anyway, uh, pretty simple setup. It's just a 10 gallon tank set up on its side. And I plastic this bottom part with just saran wrap. And in the bottom it's got uh, you can see there substrate it's just cocoa fiber and then a bunch of plastic plants draped throughout the the branches that I put in there and they got enough room there that they can when they when they come out they just pour out it's quite amazing to see uh, and they have enough height there and enough room so that when they pour out they'll They'll get down to where they need to be and they can start get grabbing onto some of them branches there and working themselves around the the enclosure. And hopefully this screen is uh, good enough. It's just a little mosquito netting you can buy. Uh, I bought it. It's to put over your window to keep the mosquitoes out if you don't have a an actual proper window screen. And it just comes with Velcro and, you know, some sticky ends on it. And it's, it really doesn't work well for a window. But I taped it up on here. And it uh, works great. I'm just hoping they don't uh, chew through these because they will. Uh, I've seen it happen. Actually, uh, Tarantula Dan had that happen to him, I believe. Is uh praying mantis uh, chewed through the Chinese net that he had um, that he picked up for his anyway I'm really excited can't wait for these things to grow or actually hatch and then uh, grow I'm going to keep a few and, and do some breeding with them and see how I do I may end up turning like a corner of the room like that's the corner there and I may just cordon it off and Put a bunch of branches in there, maybe some live plants, and yeah, hopefully they'll. Uh, I got I got a whole other room. Actually, I might just do it in there, <clears throat> and then just let them run free. Let it let maybe a dozen or so run free in the room, and hopefully they mate. All right, that's that. A little bit of an update on the end. I'm gonna put this on the end of the other video but you'll already have seen that, so y'all take care, have a great day, and bye for now.